we are back for another episode on our online family, or for short, OOF. <laughs> okay, um, and you sip my energy drink. That was more than a sip. <laughs> but I needed it. Okay. So, this week on OOF, we have the theme of movies. So, I'm going to go over some of my favorite movies from my childhood up until now, and then I'm going to do um, my way of summarizing the movie to get, and being how I like to s explain it to people that haven't seen it <laughs> to try and get them to watch it. Uh, so we're gonna go with the series, well not series, the, um, the one that I started watching first, well, um, the story that I fell in love with and I've always been obsessed with since I was really little was the story of Peter Pan. It was to the point that I ended up freaking out my neighbors so badly. Because, <laughs> um, when you're a little kid, you don't understand when to shut your mouth. And, um, yeah, I had an overactive imagination, as some people would put it. And my necklace is not on. Clip it on correctly. Hang on. Do -do 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 -do. I already have enough bloopers for today's video. This is like the third time I've tried to record it. The first time I tried to record this video, my friends ended up distracting me. In a group call and... That was a lot of fun, and it was with some of the other members of OOF, we were in a group, there was a group call together. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I, I've always loved the Peter Pan series for as long as I can remember, and, um, yeah, when I was little, I didn't, uh, I didn't know when to shut my mouth, and so I freaked out my neighbors so much because my imagination was uh, every night I would go on adventures with Peter Pan, and I would just be casually telling my neighbors, yeah, at night, um, someone comes to my room and takes me on adventures every night, and... As an adult, you probably find that a little bit creepy. I feel kind of bad, but at the same time, I don't. Because, like, a lot of the people my age in that neighborhood did not like me. I think in from my, um, from my neighborhood and the neighborhood across the street from mine, I have a total of, like, Five, maybe six friends here. <sighs> oh man, that's kind of sad. Like the place I lived my whole life, I have like, I have five friends from there. <laughs> and I don't even talk to most of them that often. It's more of a, whenever I'm in my hometown, it's like, Hey guys, how are ya? Okay, I'm gonna go hang out with these people that I've become better friends with because they're less friend of convenience from and more of a friend of your weirdness mixed with my weirdness is a good kind of weirdness but um so yeah 
I'm getting distracted. <laughs> okay, um, so, yeah, I fell in love with the Peter Pan stories, and my favorite version is not the Disney version. My favorite movie version is the 2003 Peter Pan. I lost the case for it a long time ago, so I just have the DVD now. But uh, this one was done by Universal in 2003. And the way I described this one was, um... Peter Pan, but with Wendy being able to also uh, kick butt. But normally I would probably use a swear word, but YouTube and monetization is something I want to have. Okay, um, the next movie that I grew up watching was, um, the Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is the box set for the first one. And so, yeah, this is the movie. Bonus features, more bonus features, more bonus features. The booklet to explain where, uh, what everything is. And then over on this side, there is a map of, hang on, a map of Narnia, which at one point I had memorized. I also was able to quote the movie word for word and tell you exactly when characters were coming on screen. I watched this every Saturday along with um, The Princess Bride at my grandparents. And, uh... My step-grandpa is actually the one that gave me this box set. I asked if I could borrow it one time, and he just said, uh, keep it. And so, ta-da, and my necklace came undone again. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna keep that off for right now. I will fix that later. But, um, don't, so this was, one was, came out in 2005. And the way I described this would have to be, um, magic meets medieval meets war meets kids fulfilling a prophecy. And it all takes place within technically, like, less than an hour of when they enter the wardrobe. So yeah, in Earth time it would be like less than an hour, but in Narnia it's like 30 something years that they spend there. So yeah, that was a... Trying to understand how time worked gave me a headache for the longest time. And I just accepted the I'm not gonna figure it out, so why even bother? Okay, and then the next movie. This one, my dad got me to watch by trying to convince me that um, it was Peter Pan related, and I believed him because of the title. And, uh, so. Th on the front of the box, it says, Sleep all day, party all night, never grow old, never die, it's fun to be a vampire. And it is The Lost Boys. So this one, um, so yeah, my dad tried to convince me it was Peter Pan related, and after watching it, I could see how it was Peter Pan related. A little bit. It had like a Peter Pan like side story but it wasn't the main story plot but um yeah thank you so much dad for convincing me to watch this so I absolutely love the soundtrack and um one of the bands that I listen to actually has a song that I actually found 
a fan-made music video of it, and it was just clips from this movie, and, oh yeah, um, sorry dad, I kinda took the movie with me when I went to college. I should probably return this to my dad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Motionless in White, uh, we only, we come out at night. good song. And Chris Motionless actually has a uh, Lost Boys for knuckle tattoos. And, um, so yeah, this movie came out in, where was it? Um, 1987, I believe. I believe that's the year it came out, but it is how I end up describing it is, um, cheesy 80s vampire movie with an awesome soundtrack. So, who doesn't love this soundtrack? And, um, so I found out that one of my favorite YouTubers, Captain Des Des, this is actually also one of his favorite movies. And then we're on to my last favorite movie. This is actually the most recent of all the movies that has come out. This one came out in 2015 and it is called Deathgasm. So I actually ended up, for this one I actually looked up um, how, uh, I am BD, I think it was called, I can't re remember, um, whatever that thing is that, like, is, like, the, um, it's that one site that, like, summarizes what stuff is in pop culture for, like, movies and bands and stuff like that. I really can't remember what it's called. You know what I'm talking about. I'll, um, I'll just put the word there. Pause for a second. And editing me, but remember to put that in. But um, so I looked up how they actually uh, summarize deathgasm, and that one it's like that doesn't sound right. So I like my definition of how what deathgasm is a lot more than theirs. So my definition of deathgasm, my way of explaining deathgasm is, um, two metalheads decide to, <laughs> um, play a song that they find in one of their, so they find one of their, um, heroes in the music, that's from the music scene, uh, and he has a certain record that this like, crazy cult is going after. But, um, inside of the record is really old sheet music. And the main character, um, Brody, who's the narrator for the movie, he ends up, um, rewriting the, uh, sheet music. And then him and his band end up playing it. And then they cause the apocalypse with metal. And then they go around and try and stop it. And, uh, there's a lot of awesome scenes. So this is a action horror comedy music movie that is so amazing. And I love watching it every single time. Um... Metalheads start the apocalypse by playing music they didn't know would cause the apocalypse. Yeah, I kind of like that premise. And then they go around and save the world. But it was actually a really cool uh, movie to watch. But yeah, the um, cult is trying to bring this 
the um, demon that the music summons into our world, and he's called the Blind Demon. But, uh, Brody is an awesome character. Uh, Zack... He's, he's a really good character, but at the same time, he's not the nicest person, but I guess that's expected. But, um, yeah. Metalheads start the apocalypse, and basically all the adults turn into zombie <laughs> type things. And, uh, my two favorite scenes are, one of them is one of the um, fight scenes against Brody's aunt and uncle. I'm not giving any more information other than that's my, one of my favorite scenes. Because they get turned into zombies and so they have to stop them. But, um, the, one of my other favorite scenes is when Brody has a date with girl that's friends with his cousin and um, she's not she hasn't really listened to metal at all and she's not a metalhead whatsoever and so um, at one point she asks isn't it just a bunch of guys screaming and then Brody goes uh, and then like lists off a bunch of subgenres of metal that are have a bit like that but aren't just that and oh my gosh it is so cool because every single one of the um subgenres is actual genres of metal and it's just like I didn't even know some of them existed until I watched this movie so it's like this is so much fun I love this and I've been trying to find the sequel, but I can't seem to figure out where to watch it, so if someone knows where to watch uh, the sequel to Deathgasm, let me know. I want to watch it. Just like I'm going to be watching American Satan tomorrow. <laughs> sorry mom, sorry dad, sorry grandparents, but yeah. Um, Kimmy found out that I hadn't seen it, and she had actually bought it on YouTube, and so she gave me her login so I can <laughs> go and watch it, and yeah. I can't wait! I get to watch American Satan finally! And I will definitely let you guys know how I enjoyed that movie, but yeah. I'm gonna, um, here's a reminder to editing me, make sure that you put in, um, uh, um, the uh, poster art or whatever it was for all the movies because that's something that would be really cool to show you guys off like what it looks like or at least for Deathgasm because I don't have the um, I don't have the DVD of it or anything like that I kind of wish I do, but, um, so yeah, those are some of my favorite movies. This video is almost 20 minutes. <laughs> oh man, I've been recording for a while, just talking about movies. Yeah, yeah, that should be what I need to do. Okay. So yeah, those are some of my favorite movies. And, uh, mm. sorry guys, I've been kind of sick this week, so it's just like in and out of my stomach feeling queasy. But yeah, so it I'll be fine. I just gotta rest a little bit more. 
But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching my video on movies, and let's go. Let's go and watch some movies, cause this is really awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Love you all. And um, yeah, peace out. Love you guys. Bye.